Well, it is time to take a look at some of our Alaska news stories for this Thursday morning. As expected, there was a negative reaction from Governor Walker and other members of Alaska government in general about President Obama's ruling, just simply deciding to declare the Arctic off limits to drilling. Now, however you feel about this particular issue, the fact remains that one man made a decision and by executive order relying on an archaic 1953 law just basically said no drilling shall ever occur in this area. Boom. Taking it off the table. And, of course, the governor's reaction and others, rather typical in terms of saying you're going to affect the economy of Alaska negatively and you're going to be making a bad decision long term. And we'll see how it plays out. The Point Warrens off double murder suspect pleaded not guilty in court. And there was a volcano eruption out in the Aleutian Islands that was reported by some pilots Almost as soon as they had raised the alert level, they lowered it back down because it was such a brief eruption. The state has predicted higher oil prices, but also lower production this next year. So even though they're going to have $300 million more coming into the state coffers, it's going to be nowhere near enough to fix the deficit because of state spending. Anchorage police approved a long-term contract through December of 2019 for the police in Whittier to provide police protection to Girdwood. It's going to cost a, a blank, like $1.7 million through the voter-approved tax increase for the residents of Girdwood. Also, heating assistance programs around the state are feeling a pinch right now, not simply because more people are asking for assistance, which they are, but also because a number of agencies that had given money in the past are not able to do so this year. Uh, More taxis will be coming to Anchorage. The Anchorage Assembly approved adding 100 new permits, something which has the people who currently have the permits up in arms because in some cases they paid hundreds of thousands of dollars. I think one went for $155,000, a transferable one, a couple of years ago to get the permit. And they're saying, hey, you're hurting our livelihood by allowing other people to compete with us. A man was fatally shot by his father-in-law in Anchorage this week. The police got a domestic disturbance call from a woman saying, hey, my husband just assaulted me and he has a gun. And oh yeah, by the way, he's out in the street now arguing with my dad. Now it turns out that she had also called her dad as well as calling the police. Her dad came and produced his own gun and shot his son-in-law. There are charges, including murder and manslaughter. Health enrollment is up. I should say health payment plan through the government website is up and governor walker is back at work after having surgery to remove his cancer also they've decided to station actually embed a social worker with anchorage police when they go out to start kicking people out of homeless camps we want to get, they want to get them off the street and so now they're going to be sending social workers with the police if you hadn't heard December has the most impaired driving out of any other month. It also happens to be the most dangerous here in Alaska because of the ice on the roads and the dark. And lastly, a little bit of fact-checking has actually occurred. Sarah Palin did not at any time criticize the black Santa at the Mall of America. This is one of those things that was widely reported on social media. A lot of people would like to believe that Sarah Palin is a racist and a bigot and a uh, religious whatever. I mean, I think the, the quote said, I never said, or it always said in the Bible that Santa was white. Yeah, that's very funny. Ha ha. She didn't say it. The fact check has been completed and by a number of sources. Now they have officially debunked that. So it, just because you see it on Facebook doesn't mean it's true. Unless, of course, you see it here on Facebook, because I do publish all of my sources every single day here at RadioFreeSpeech.com. All you have to do is just take a look here on that segment under each one of my videos. I give you all the references that I used, and in some cases, uh, more references than I'm actually quoting at the time. So check it out. Do your own research. Follow my links. Do some of your own. Send me an email if you've got a suggestion for me, whether it's on a particular commentary that I should do or whether you've got a news tip. The email is steve at radiofreespeech.com. Once again, hit me up on Facebook, Radio Free Speech. I'd love to hear from you.